in the morning in Columbia, Missouri. Uh, housing in Columbia is very affordable. So on a resident salary, I've got a 2,000 square foot house, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Um, and I was able to convert part of this to a gym. That was a plan I was working on throughout intern year. And then coronavirus happened and that somewhat sped up my plan. So then I don't have to go to the gym, which has been an issue. So I get up, I get my exercise done, um, and then I head to work. Uh, during acute care medicine uh, last year in, in Kansas City, I'd have to get up around 3.30, 3.45 to do the same things just because of drive time um, and the demands of being at work early. Well, PM&R gives me a little bit more time, uh, which I very much appreciate, uh, and I get to work. So just after five o'clock in the morning out here, some great nature sounds. This neighborhood is just wonderful for a lot of folks being outside in the evenings, biking, walking, talking. There was a bunny right over here just a moment ago hopping through the grass. Um, getting over to the house, you can see we've got plenty of bikes to take advantage of the trails here in Columbia, quite an extensive trail system. And then there's my gym, we're ready to go. at 6.30 in the morning and I'm off to Rusk, six minute drive. So here we are walking into the front entrance of Rusk. The back side has the PM&R department offices and all those good things. All right, so at 6.45 in the morning, I'm here at Rusk. My spinal cord injury attending is an avid CrossFitter, so she'll get that workout in and be here ready to round with me here shortly. Uh, we'll see all of our patients, address any of their needs, and then I'll spend most of the rest of the day preparing for my admissions. We take folks from the university hospital, throughout the Midwest, and even internationally. Uh, I'll do that while she's in clinic, and we'll check up throughout the day, make sure everything's going well with the patients. I also spend a lot of time doing one of the best parts about inpatient physical medicine and rehabilitation, and that's coordinating with physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, nursing services, pharmacy, and the case managers to address all of our patients' needs. So now I'm here with one of my fantastic co-residents, Dr. Jess Rowland. What do you got going on on the stroke service today? Today for Gold Team, we got rounds starting at 8, um, sending one patient home, and then getting ready for a couple of admissions throughout the day. Fantastic. Sounds like a busy day. Go. Hey, Dr. Farmer. We're missing you on inpatient right now. What you doing this month? I'm on outpatient this month. It's been a lot of fun. What do you do? Well, this morning I'm at amputee clinic, and this afternoon I'm with Dr. Farron, doing all kinds of things. Exciting. Dr. Luber and a couple of our PGY1s uh, who are rotating with us. Dr. Luber, what's our favorite time of day at Rust? Lunchtime. Lunchtime. Yeah. We have a great food, we have a chef in house, and <laughs> a fantastic team that keeps us well fed. Hey, Betty, how's your day going? It's going okay. How's your day going? It's good. Good. What are you up to? So I'm working on the schedule for tomorrow for the transport for the patients going to clinic appointments. So I've got them all confirmed. I just need to find out a couple more things and then I'll be sending it out. Thank you. You're welcome. This is Christian Van Doren, one of our PGY1s, currently doing his preliminary medicine year at Mizzou. Christian, you're rotating with us for a few weeks. What do you look forward to about next year and the rest of your time in the PM&R program? Uh, looking forward to working with my co-residents and just getting as much knowledge as I can in MSK and potentially going into sports medicine. Fantastic.
All right, so it's just after five o'clock and I'm heading out from Rusk for the day. It was a pretty busy day. We're getting ready for eight discharges early next week. So that involves a lot of coordination with those case managers, uh, pharmacy and several other aspects to establish their care. Uh, a few of the medical issues we took care of today included a couple UTIs, uh, resolving, let's see, some spasticity management, quite a bit of pain management with spinal cord injury also uh, involved with that. And then uh, tomorrow morning, we've got some education planned. So that'll be exciting prior to rounding. And I believe tomorrow we're going over anatomy of the lower extremity musculature uh, with Dr. Todabush, who's one of our sports medicine uh, attending physicians here. That's about all. Well, came home, had dinner with my family, uh, wrestled with my boys a little bit, got to talk to my wife, um, did a little bit of review and preparation for tomorrow, but overall pretty relaxing. Um, as I've been thinking about all the uh, clips I've shared from today, it's kind of interesting that you see just a few minutes of multiple hours, and unfortunately the best parts just aren't able to be shared. Um, some of the things you missed were some tender moments with a, a patient who has a, a newly diagnosed spinal cord injury who's facing life-altering uh, decisions and situations um, and needed a lot of counseling. Um, a lot of joking time with my co-residents. In fact, right now they're still messaging me and uh, we're just talking about the day and whatnot. Um, and then quite a few one-on-one -on -one teaching opportunities with amazing faculty uh, that let me run the show on my patients um, and just step in and help out as needed and then take the, uh, the right moments to be able to share what they know. Um, on top of that, you know, all these interactions with nursing, um, with uh, the case managers, with, with therapists, walking through the gym in the hallways and seeing the patients on the service I just left, the amputee service, and getting to talk about their upcoming discharge dates and how excited they are about their progress. A lot of great things that happen on inpatient rehab. And then talking to senior residents even throughout today too and their outpatient experiences and the things they get to do um, in pain medicine and sports medicine um, and PM in our clinic, all kinds of amazing things. Overall, I just wanna sum up that this program is so incredible uh, for one word and that's family. My mentor told me quite some time ago when he was pointing me in the direction of this program, he said it's pretty cliche to say it, uh, but it's truly a family and you know after going on two months now, I can say that's definitely uh, the case. We're already a family. I love the group that I'm with. I love the example of the uh, attendings who are there to help us out in every way they can and truly sacrifice of themselves for our benefit. Well, that's kind of a short uh, down and dirty of one day in the life of PMNR here at in uh, Columbia, Missouri. Thanks.